I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. Today is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year above the equator. Solstice means sun stands still in Latin. I know I've been working really long days to get the garden ready for summer. Today you'll get an update of the garden and uh, we'll see what's left to do for summer. But first, let's see what's blooming. Tomorrow the days will start getting shorter, which seems like such a shame because I just got the summer garden finally planted. <laughs> Perfection is an impossible goal in a front yard garden, but I strive for it anyway. This garden is probably as close to perfect as I'll ever get. It's a feast for the eyes. I mean, everywhere I look. Oh, I mean, wow. California native goldenrod is blooming in my native mini meadow. This is California native yarrow. The color is pomegranate. I just want to get a hundred of these. <laughs> I need a bigger yard. Is it an understatement to say that I overplanted the back 40? <laughs> this is probably the last week I'll be able to navigate through here. Got a new hummingbird feeder. I mean, I got a hummingbird feeder. I've never had one. <laughs> There's something about planting root vegetables on the summer solstice. Um, I got these planted last night. Uh, carrot seed planted in this one and salsify planted in this one. Both are root vegetables that need deep, loose soil. So, I hope these containers will do the job. I planted my apple green eggplant. Uh, seeds were sent to me by Bob in North Dakota in this um, self-watering container that I ordered and put together. I'm very excited for my cucumbers. These are Boston pickling. These two plants are growing up through my potted olive trees. Here's another nice one. Yay! It's right about now when everything is lush and green that pests and viruses rear their ugly head. <laughs> but I'm committed to staying on top of things this year. So what's left to do? The most pressing thing is to get the quarter inch irrigation hooked back up in this part of the garden. <laughs> I should have done this in May. <sighs> Oops. Some garden jobs, I just tend to procrastinate. We took it out to revamp the back 40 and I said, I'll put it back in before the plants take off. <laughs> Did I do that? No. <sighs> I'm not gonna get it in there now. This is the most bees I've ever seen in this garden. 
They know it's the summer solstice. I've got to harvest something on the summer solstice. <laughs> well. mm. By the time you see this, the days will be getting shorter. But if you enjoyed the summer solstice in your garden, please let me know and please share this episode with a friend and help me inspire more people to grow their own food. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And there's something about planting root vegetables on the summer solstice. I read that online. Oops. Sorry. Hello. How are you today? You gonna give me some nice spaghetti squash? Or are you going to get powdery mildew? What's it going to be? Hmm? <laughs> do you talk to your plants? I do. <laughs> I care about every little leaf. Every single leaf I care. Oh, ants, get out of there. Get out of there. <gasps> get, no, no, no. Yeah, you better run. You, oh, come back. I want to kill you. But if you enjoyed the summer solstice in your garden, please...